Hello, this is unit one, lesson four. We're going to keep looking at analyzing graphs of functions. Today we're looking at range and then end behavior. So you've heard of range before. We just want to define it again so we're all on the same page. Okay, so algebraically it's all of the possible values for y. Okay. Graphically, which we'll be working with more. Okay. Is how far does the graph extend as you look at it from the bottom to the top? Okay. So how far All right, I'm trying to use some pretty generic terminology here to, to make this as simple as possible to see. Um, some people had just have trouble sort of looking at a graph and saying, is this going up, is it going down, is it left or right, is, is, why is it both, and so on. Okay, so we all, we're going to write this in interval notation. So I've got four graphs here. This first one you can see is a linear function. You did the domain last time, which was negative infinity to positive infinity, left to right, as it goes to the left, goes to the right, there's an arrow, it keeps going, okay, it's the same thing with range, okay, so it's pointing down, all right, so it's going towards negative infinity, you could say that it's coming from negative infinity or from that direction, okay. But you see that arrow there, it's going on forever, it's coming from negative infinity. Towards to the right, as you go to the right, the graph is going up, there's an arrow, which means it goes on forever. All right, nothing can actually ever equal infinity, so we use parentheses. Okay. Okay, this next one, uh, spoiler alert, this is an absolute value function. Okay. So we want to see what the range is. So again, how far does the graph extend from the bottom to the top? These arrows here, they're pointing down. So arrow pointing down means negative infinity. Does the graph stop? Yes. Stops right here at negative 2, at y equals negative 2. Okay, this is all in terms of y values. So it goes all the way to negative 2. It includes negative 2, so we use a bracket. Okay. How about the next one? Uh, you may remember this as a quadratic, a graph of a quadratic function. Okay. So the lowest point on the graph is negative 2. Again, the lowest y value is negative 2. It includes negative 2, so I use a bracket. Arrows at the top indicate it's going on forever. So it's going towards positive infinity. Okay. All right, this next one, we call this a piecewise. Okay, you, you did this exact graph when you did domain, just it's different. Okay, this is y values. So we got to look at the lowest y value. Okay, and it's a piece y, so you're probably going to use uh, a union. You're going to have more than one set of parentheses. Okay, so the first y value is 2. Well, it doesn't change at all, it stays at 2. Okay. Union. All right, and then you see this arrow up here because we looked at it from the bottom to the top, right? Well, here's the tricky part. There's this arrow here that I circled in red. That arrow means it goes on forever, so really it's doing this, which goes below this. Well, you don't need to write it twice, you don't need to be redundant. You don't have to say negative two and then go back 
Okay, once it's covered, we can just state it. So what's this arrow mean here? That's negative infinity. What's this arrow mean up here? Positive infinity. And you're saying, okay, Mr. Hilliard, what about all this stuff in the middle that's not connected? Well, the y values are defined. These are all possible y values. Okay. This arrow here, or excuse me, this is a ray. This is a point, and then it goes on in one direction. Okay. That starts at 1 but goes on forever. Well, this one to the left starts at 5 and goes down and goes on forever. So all those y values are accounted for. All those y values are defined. So that's why we have this as our range. Okay, so be careful with those piecewise functions. We'll, we'll try to check you on those. Okay. All right, so we'll look at, you'll get some range, practice on range on the back. There's a practice question. Now we're looking at end behavior. So end behavior, so as you trace the graph in a certain direction, is the graph going up or down? That's what we're asking you. So it's important to understand the notation here. So you'll see this. As x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to negative infinity, okay? So I wrote these lines on here just to explain the direction, all right? So as x moves towards negative infinity, that means you are tracing the graph to the left as far as it'll go to the left. Okay? So what do you think as x, this is x goes to positive infinity. Okay, so what direction is this going to? This is going to the right. Good. Okay? So you, What's going to happen is you trace the graph to the left or to the right. It's either going to be moving up or down. It could be constant, but more often than not, we're looking at going up or down. So if you trace the graph to the left or trace it to the right and it's moving up, it's moving towards positive infinity. You would write f of x moves towards positive infinity. If you trace it to the left or the right and it goes down, you'd see f of x goes to negative infinity. Okay, so this, again, this is just another way of analyzing these graphs and establishing some properties with them. Okay, let's look at these examples. So here's all of our notation. Okay, this first one, as x goes to negative infinity, so... Trace the graph to the left. Start anywhere in the graph and start tracing it to the left. And once you see this arrow, we're going down that we established with the range. Okay? So if your range went to negative infinity, that means one of your end behaviors is also going to go to negative infinity. Okay? So this is saying as x moves to the left, where is y going? Where is f of x going? It's going down. As you move to the right, what's the graph doing? The graph is moving up. So it's moving towards positive infinity. How about our absolute value? As x goes down, so, excuse me, as x goes to the left. As x moves to the left, what's happening? It's approaching negative infinity. As x moves to the right, what's happening? Well, guess what? It's going down also. That's appro also approaching negative infinity. This is the end behavior. What is the graph doing at the end of the graph? What's it doing as you move to the left? What's it doing as you move towards the right? Okay, let's look at our parabola. As you move towards the left, as I approach negative infinity to the left, f of x is approaching positive infinity. As I approach positive infinity, 
Now we're obviously not getting there. We're only at six or eight, okay? But again, the arrow means it goes on forever. So eventually it will approach some really large numbers, okay? As it's moving to the right, it's also going up, okay? This piecewise function, okay? Again, you got arrows at the end, moving to the left, it's going towards negative infinity. As it moves to the right, it's going towards positive infinity, okay? We're, at this point, we're only gonna ask you to do this with a graph, okay? Uh, when we get into polynomials, we're gonna ask you to do this algebraically, but we'll show you how to do that. But for now, if you can just look at a graph, trace it, tell us which direction it's going, up or down, and use negative infinity for down and positive infinity for up, okay? All right, so let's look at this back page. This is your practice, okay? So there's some stuff you did from lesson three, and there's some stuff you did from that we just did today. All right, so when I say go, pause the video, try to fill these in based on what you learned today and from the last lesson, okay? Go. All right, so check your answers here. All right, uh, number six is tricky because this part you see is going all the way up, or excuse me, it's gonna continue on to positive infinity, so it's gonna cross the x-axis again. We don't know exactly where, okay? You'll get, you'll get a graph that's clearer than that to analyze, okay? But I estimated it's about 10, okay? If you see something at a point where it's not at an integral point, uh, you can estimate, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt, okay? But just check your answers here. If you're not sure about some of these, um, obviously circle it and ask at the beginning of next class, okay? Uh, one thing to note with increasing and decreasing and some of these, uh, don't worry too much about brackets versus parentheses, okay? As long as you get the numbers right, that's what we're looking at, okay? So brackets and parentheses are more concerned with domain and range, okay? And the other things, we'll, we'll kind of let you know as we go. All right, so check your answers, see how you did. If you have any questions, bring those to class. All right, and we'll see you next time.